I need to find that manual. All right. Hello again, and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play The Bunker. Hopefully someone's watching out there, and hopefully someone did watch the first episode. And if you didn't watch the first episode, you're probably not listening right now. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm talking to you, but hopefully someone, you know, is out there listening or watching this and hopefully enjoying it. So let's get into it. Um, the last episode we didn't read the diary, so I can see it starts us right back here. So probably let's do that and hopefully we can find out what some of these things are. So I know the diary is in this first uh, upper level in the drawer. So my old diary. Yeah. Today it is my birthday and I have had extra peaches, my favourite. And there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy. It's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. Right, so Mum, Doctor, yeah, yeah, that's these are the things. Okay, so Mum, Doctor, Nurse, Churchill, Sam, Soldier, General. Engineer, commissioner. So I guess these are something to do, which you know we has to collect these. Uh, they have like different powers. I don't know. And I don't know who this Mr. Bishop is, but maybe he's the guy in command down here. I was the guy in command. So, all right, let's get back and back, and let's find the manual. But we pretty much already know what to do, we just want to continue on. The manual. So, the manual, yeah. So yeah, I'll make announcement that main powers is being shut down for maintenance, but we pretty much don't need to do that because obviously we are the only one here, hopefully. But we gotta go, I don't know if we gotta go up or down to level 2, I don't know if that's up or down. Uh, and identify the damaged fuses, and then we need to locate the replacement fuses and shut off the main powers and replace them, switch power back on and perform system check. Sounds fairly easy and simple, but I'm sure that's not going to be the case, so let's get back. Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. And we already know there's I'm nothing sure in here. So let's head out. See what happens. Oh. Wow. Okay, I guess this is where we need. What is this? What? Oh. Oh, this is really cool. This is really cool. This is well made. <sighs> oh, 
Come on, surely you can open the door. Oh, it's locked. There must be a key. Oh, I know where the key is. His mom's got the key in her pocket, probably. Or, I guess this is the room where his mom is, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's got, right, she's got the key. Mother, I need you. Right? Um. Okay. Well, maybe not then. This is in the drawer. I need to fix the fuse. Yeah, let's. Which one? This one. Again, we're gonna go for the middle one. Oh, yeah. This is the one, right? Yes. Key. Nice. The key. Now I have to leave. Yeah, but what about... Can we collect anything of importance? In the upper one? My old drawings. <laughs> what does it say? Right there? Can't remember. Uh, can't remember. Can't see it. Oh, it's a dolphin, but then again, it's a an atomic bomb, probably. All right. So, I suppose you know. There's been a nuclear war, you know, outside in the world, and for some reason, something happened. I don't need any of that. To anyone else down here besides, what was his name, Tom? Something? And his mom, so. Yeah. Everyone. You know, fleed outside and got killed. Something's definitely wrong outside. Oh, here we go! Here we go! Oh, this is really cool. It's like surveillance camera. Level 1, so probably have to go down. Oh, okay, a little flashback. Why? And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it that. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make 14. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Okay, so obviously I'm not, you know, from an English speaking country, so I don't know exactly all of these words, but for instance, I don't know what bulletin is, but um, I'll level two, there we go. But yes, you know, probably a nuclear war outside, and we can't get out of, of here, so basically, you know. <clears throat>
our rations and food and stuff, you know, starts to wear out. And then people probably started starving, but don't, don't know why I'm left and I've got that much food. Alright, let's pro go down to level 2. There's no sound in here. Why? And there's sound again. Oh, level 2. Shit. Oh, it's dark in here. I can see n almost nothing. Okay, level two. What is this? It looks like a, f a fire alarm. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuse box? Where's the fuse box? Level 2 fuse box. Um, it's a TV. Oh, all these different choices! This looks like some electric. It has like an electric sign on it, so maybe in there. Danger! Live electrical equipment. Push. Aha! I should make the announcement. But there's no one here! There's no one here! How the fuck do I make the announcement? The announcement? Is it from... Not from here. Not from here. Is it from here? No. Dan, this is Alex. Please send this out to all the Berkshire stations and let me know. Thanks. Hello. This is Alexander Swan. I'm trying to contact my brother Jonathan. Jonathan Swan. He... When the four minute warning came, I was on the phone to him. And he said he'd got a place in one of the Berkshire bunkers, but I don't know which one. If he's with you, and his wife, his wife's name is Sarah. John, if you're there, or if anyone has any news on him, please let me know. Okay, I don't know if really it's got any consequences at all, you know, if I do certain of these things, you know, if it gives me different choices and it has different consequences, I don't know, but... Um, console select option, regional reports, medical report, personal log, MISC, I don't know what that is, let's... Regional report? Uh, I've got no idea what this is. Uh, last contact. 17th of October, 19... I don't know if these are different bunkers, maybe? Fourteenth of October, nineteen ninety-six. Deceased Vera Taylor, age forty-six. Cause of death unknown. Unknown. Um. Twelfth of November, nineteen ninety-six. Deceased Elizabeth 
Carol Hurley or Elizabeth Hurley? Hurley Carol, I don't know. 832, cause of death. Actual gastrointestinal <laughs> failure. Possible radiation sickness. Yeah, okay. Sorry if I'm pronouncing some of these names. I've never s come across this word in my entire life. I'm not, you know, from an English speaking country. Personal log. It's going to be fine. Okay, so maybe fine isn't the right word, but we have enough supplies to make it through. I'm sure of it. If we can just keep it together and be sensible with the rations, we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get fat down here, but I could use losing a few pounds anyway. <laughs> okay, so this is like a uh, thing I miss. Egg and chips. Having a bath. My bed. Warm sound of my neck. Grass. Chocolate. Natalie. Things I hate. Sardines. <laughs> the bunker smell and level 5. Okay, so don't want to go down level 5. Um, so this is probably like a personal guy's computer. Pretty much. Oh, another. Communication Tops. from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Caution, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. <laughs> Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. Uh, okay. Toilet. Let's move on. So how do I make the announcement? Is this the one? Sam. Got a new toy. Sam, he's nice and smiles to me. So Sam's a nice guy. So Mom and Sam. What is it? Radiation warning map. Okay. Um, where are we? Level two. I don't know anything of this. <laughs> okay, which one? This one? Commissioner's room? Probably not. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Mom? It's all right, come here, love. Oh, this was his mom. I can't sleep. It's all right. You know, if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I'll be better take. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that because I want to know more, but I was afraid that if I, I didn't press like it, it here. you don't like it here. Uh, let's check in the locker. There's nothing I need here. NPC suit? I think that's like the radiation protective suit. Maybe. I don't like it here. I know you've said that. Okay. Can I turn it on? Anywhere else? Uh, 
like surveillance camera. If someone comes across this, I'm gonna scream. I don't like it here. Oh, come on. You've said that now. Ah, make the announcement. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Really? Why don't I make the announcement? Hurley? Is that the one who died? Rear bulkhead beam. What the fuck is that? Next to recycling unit. Sure. God save the queen. So, probably, you know, as I said, I don't really understand all of it, but probably, you know, just talking about the problems they were like having. So, that C12, they've got a leak somewhere. Oh, yeah, there was another room here. Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. So, these X's there, are these the places where, you know, contact with nuclear bombs? So there's been eight, nine bombings. Jesus, who's done that? And then some more over here in France. Luckily enough, my country hasn't been bombed. My country is right here. But, um... Yeah, that's not good. Hopefully this won't happen in real life. Jesus. Those, uh, those in... Rondians? Um... Is this like the amount? Uh, virtually no short term effect. 
some nausea, okay? Nausea and vomiting within 24 hours. Some uh, incapitation <laughs> after two days. Some some mortally. None of N9V symptom free. Mortality in one week. Okay, not that good. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Requests end to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. Okay. John, that's me. And that was my mom, I think, Evelyn. It's not good. So maybe it was a leak because of that hole in in a wall somewhere, like leak in a water pipe or something. So yeah, I made the announcement, right? Or maybe I should you know what? I know there's something here. Let's just Check this out right here. Um, anything I can do? No. Can I open the last one down here? No. So, maybe I should go back in, and after he said, like, testing, testing, we sh maybe we should. Uh, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I know you don't like it here. Let's try it again. Attention, the yeah. main's power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. There we go. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go back. Back. But I suppose we need to find the other fuses first, because when you switch power off, it's gonna be completely dark. 
right? Sure, we need to think about that first. But I guess the other fuses should be in here. Maybe in this box up here. Oh shit, this is a bad idea, how? Yeah, but why the fuses are... are but why... This is gonna be a bad idea. Which one is... the bad one? I suppose this one? That's the damaged one. Yeah. I should turn the power off first. Ah. Where do I turn the power off? Is that the power? Shut mains power off. Where do I do it? I'm back. Ah, okay, right here. But I think this is gonna be a good time to stop it and just before we pull the main powers off, so hopefully you'd enjoyed so far. We haven't really, you know, encountered on anything spectacular yet, but probably there will be they'll soon come, so anyway if you watch this, thank you and until next time, take care. Have a good time and see you later. Bye bye.